You might be wondering, how does Amplitude compare to a tool like Google Analytics? In this video, I'll break down the main differences between Amplitude and Google Analytics so your team can make an informed choice about the tools you use. I'm Lex Roman. I've been helping teams choose analytics tools and instrument their products for many years. And over the years, I've seen teams build up troves of unusable data. If you want to be able to act on your data, your team has to be able to easily access and understand it. This brings us to the core difference between Google Analytics and Amplitude. To drill into this, let's look at four comparisons between Amplitude and Google Analytics. First, Amplitude lets you decide what information is important to you. Google decides for you. Second, Amplitude was built for product teams. Google Analytics was built for websites. Third, Amplitude offers built-in guidance so everyone can understand how to view data. Google Analytics requires separate documentation. Fourth, Amplitude prioritizes collaboration. Google Analytics makes sharing views with teammates challenging. You want to use a tool that lets you decide what information matters to your team. Google Analytics has decided that the default view for everyone should be sessions and bounce rate, followed by traffic and info like time of day when someone visited the site. Do those seem like the top of mind metrics for your team? Unless you're running a simple content website, it's unlikely that those answer your questions about how people are really using your product. Drilling into some of the main menu categories. Every view in Google Analytics is set up based on how they think you want to view your data. Sessions, page views, channels, these all show up by default. If you'd like to see more than which pages people visit and where they come from, you have to use complex filtering or add custom events. Neither of these processes are particularly intuitive and your team will likely spend a ton of time reading documentation on how to do it correctly. Amplitude was built with the idea that product teams should decide what matters to them. Your team will define what you want to know. You'll implement tracking using a simple track call and you'll send only the information you care about into Amplitude. Then you decide what views matter. All charts within Amplitude have a standardized format. So you start with the behavior you want to look at and then you can refine your audience. You choose the data you send, you choose the views that matter. Choosing the tool that lets you decide what's important ensures your team doesn't deal with unnecessary noise and confusion. Second, if you're working on a digital product, you want a tool that was designed with that use case in mind. Amplitude was built for product makers, whereas Google Analytics was created for website makers. The reason Google Analytics focuses on sessions, page views, and traffic is because it was created for content websites. GA will track unique visits to each page URL, but what if your app doesn't have URLs? What if what you want to track is button clicks, transactions, form inputs, or literally anything other than page views? Well, that becomes a lot more complicated. If you want to track how many people clicked a button in your app, you have to set up a goal. Let's try to do that now. I'm gonna make an event that tracks our signup button. I'll choose custom to indicate that it's a custom event. I'll label it signup. Huh, I wonder what goal slot ID means. I'll ignore that for now. I'll say this is an event. Wow, category, action, label, value. What do all these mean? Let's look at the help docs. Oh look, it says here, action does not always mean action. Makes total sense, crystal clear not. The takeaway here is that understanding behavior, understanding how people are really using your app, this is an afterthought in Google Analytics. There are a few important ways Amplitude supports product teams. They allow you to drill deeper into a chart so you can slice information multiple ways. Maybe you want to know which users didn't convert or where they went instead of taking the action you wanted them to take. You can easily do this just by clicking into your chart. They allow you to look at an individual's user journey. You can look at event streams and ensure that you understand the actual underlying behavior happening within your app. Try finding this within Google. They allow you to set up release dashboards that reflect your team's success metrics. 
You define what you want to pay attention to when you release a new feature, and Amplitude will show you how it did. Again, in Google Analytics, this is way more complicated than it should be. Choosing the tool that was designed for product teams makes your setup and analysis much faster. Our third comparison is around guidance. Understanding what data means is not always easy or intuitive. This is a big pain point for a lot of organizations. Amplitude has several built-in guidance mechanisms that make it easier for your team to stay on the same page. Google Analytics requires that you host separate documentation to keep your team aligned. Amplitude also lets you rename elements of charts so your team can understand them. Maybe you want to add just a bit more context into your analysis. In Amplitude, you can easily add clear descriptions of what an analysis is saying. You can also use dashboards and notebooks to add even more background on what your team should take away from the data. Back in Google Analytics, let's see if we can find out what this event means. Hmm, doesn't appear we can. Okay, well putting that aside, can we make a custom view and share with our teammates so they can see what we learned? Oh, okay, cool. We can use this user interface from the late 80s to create a custom view with as little context as possible. If we're lucky, our teammate will even be able to view this link when we send it to them. We've got a 50-50 chance of that. Honestly, y'all, Google is not even trying here. They added something recently called Google Data Studio, which I think they meant to be easier to use. Please call me in five years when you sort out how it works. Choosing the tool designed around making data accessible with built-in guidance empowers your team. It takes data from a small secret society to an organization-wide superpower. Lastly, when considering analytics tools, you want something that will allow you and your team to communicate and collaborate around data. Your team can't act on data they can't access. Amplitude makes this dead simple. Once again, Google Analytics makes it ridiculously complicated. Let's see how Google does it. I've made a dashboard I'd like to share with a teammate. I'll go up here to share. It gives me three options. Share object, share template link, share in solutions gallery. I don't know what any of those words mean, but let's try the first one. Hmm, I think that worked. Let me send it to my teammate who already has permissions on this project. Oh wait, they can't access it. I guess we'll just screenshot and freeze a date-specific view and crush our dreams of ever being able to collaborate or talk about data in real time. Over in Amplitude Happy Land, we can literally just copy any chart link from the browser and share it with a teammate. Boom, data has been shared. One cool thing about Amplitude is that when you send a link to your teammate, they can change the chart and it will just auto-generate them a new link. They can share or save that too, and it won't write over your original. We have other options too. We can add it to a team space or control who can search for it within the organization. Amplitude knows you wanna read and act on data together as a team. They've built their tool with this in mind. Our dreams of collaborating on data in real time, they're happening. Choosing the tool that puts collaboration at the core makes it easy for your team to work together around data. Let's recap. Amplitude is for product makers who want to decide what information they care about and who want to work together to act on it. Google Analytics makes all of that way more challenging. I've seen it break hearts and crush souls. If you want your team to be excited about using data to make decisions, I'd strongly recommend you look the other way. A quick side note for all of our friends trying to bridge the gap between marketing and product insights. You can absolutely use both Google Analytics and Amplitude. Some marketing teams find GA useful to track ads and channels. If this is the case for your team, keep the free tier of Google Analytics and head on over to Amplitude for everything past your marketing site. Remember, if your team can't use the tool, they can't use or act on the data.